How are we all doing guys? Welcome back to Ends of Dream, my name is Liam. So I've just filmed this entire thing only to realise that my camera died about halfway through. So, take two. This is the final college gig review that I am in, but it's not the final one that I own. We've actually got um, my friend's gig and they were on just before us, so you get to see theirs next week. So this one's fairly similar to the first one that I showed you on the channel. We all had different roles within um, the gig itself, so uh, again I was on door duty, lucky me. Uh, our drummer, he was um, on lighting and uh, yeah, and so on. There's loads of people at different jobs. Um, luckily, there's going to be no sound issues. Whoever's on the mixing desk did a pretty decent job with this one. Uh, the lighting's interesting, but then again, I don't know how to use the lighting thing. But I'm not going to spoil too much. We should probably just jump into it. So you know the drill by now. Make sure to leave a comment down below with any suggestions for tier lists, for reviews, or even covers, because we're going to have loads of covers coming up towards the end of this year. And, of course, subscribe, so you don't miss out when any of those come out. As well as that, we also have a website, which I'm going to leave down in the description below, which you can check out there. So enough shameless promotion, let's jump into it. So, right off the bat, different location. We're at a place called Band on the Wall, which is a fairly popular place in Manchester for small bands. Um, yeah, it's a really nice venue, a bit nicer than doing it on a college stage. And uh, <laughs> this happened a couple times at the end of the first year and the end of the second year that this one is. We had no bassist. Um, long story with this one, we had a bassist who left, then we had, we had a backup bassist who was ill on the day. So uh, we actually lost two bassists for one band. That's okay, I'm using a bass effect for this song anyway. <coughs> and this song is Royal Blood, Love and Leave It Alone. It's a very bouncy song. Lots going on with the bass. Because they're just a bassist and a drummer anyway. And the bass synth is a pretty good effect on my amp, but um, it sounds pretty weird at the moment. And that's not just because of the camera quality or anything like that, it's um, the reason being someone left an effect on the amp from the previous game, which you'll see next week. So uh, I was so confused, I was like, why does this sound so bad? Uh, I don't think I figured out until the next song. So I'm just, you know, doing what I can to make it a bit different, breaking up a song. We practiced this though, we had much more time to practice this set did any has to. And um, the two singers, um, she was the original singer of Friends of the Dream, which uh, I covered in the uh, Bat Bates video, and he was uh, one of, he was the second drummer we had. And uh, this singer, he was, uh, he's just another good singer. These two work really well together, they're both fairly similar style, and they can harmonise, both of them can harmonise pretty flawlessly, so when they work together, it's awesome. Oh god, what's the, what the hell is that light in? some fills in there. Okay, here's my attempt at solo. Probably shouldn't have had the bass effect on. But then again, it was the uh, chorus effect that was left on the amp as well. It didn't help. We still just count as in. Like, we can't count. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was a bit like an hour before we realised that we were a bit screwed for this one. So we were all forced to play a bit differently to how we thought we would. Uh, and I think a lot of that rested on me, because I needed to try and know the bass parts for some of the songs. This song was fine, but some of the other songs I had to try and improvise a bit more. And in a few of them, <laughs> I kind of missed my bit up, which messes everyone else up. So, well done me. You can also see I've got my effects board right there. Same old effects board I've had that for years now, uh, before I even started this course. Ooh, that was funky. Out of time. On purpose. But yeah, as you can see, I still haven't worked out why it sounds like it does. <coughs> Bit of Bruno Mars. Let's go for it. Using the wah, but you can barely hear it because it's just overloaded in the chorus. And in the chorus, I use a. Um... Hold on. <laughs> I can't get over the. <laughs> that she does. Uh, but yeah, in the chorus to this song, I use. I'm saying the word chorus a lot. I use a chorus effect, and then when I put that on, and I've already got a chorus effect on the amp, like, I think that's when I realise. Or at least towards the end of the verse or something like that. I 
still got a fairly good grade for this one, so I'm not too bothered. Whoever's on the mixing desk has realised we haven't got a bassist, so he's boosted the bass on um, on my guitar, which makes it sound good. It fills it out a bit more. <coughs> Hold on, was, was those drums just out there? Ooh, I think they might have been. <laughs> I like how she's trying to put in all the effort for stage presence, and he's just stood there inside, and I'm stuck by my pedal board for now. Yeah, it was a. Uh, Like we can't count. Oh, I've abandoned my pedal board. I didn't remember doing that. You could have did a bit more of it though, like move about a bit. I did actually bring my wireless pack to this gig, and, and I let the person before me use it. And it didn't eat all the battery for it. It still worked. Like the lights were on everything, it just wouldn't connect. So I had to use wired. It's a good job I come prepared. But uh, it meant I couldn't do as much stage business as I originally had planned. There's still some things I can do though. Yeah. <laughs> How is he playing out of time? It's such a simple bit. He plays better when he's got more to do. Why, that sounds really good. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm not a drummer, so I don't get it. I like how I've actually got a bass right there on stage, teasing us. Like, yeah, you don't have a bassist. Yeah, this, this song was pretty good. If it wasn't for that uh, effect mishap, I think the last song would have been okay as well. What the hell is my strumming pattern? Well, I can just shake it. <laughs> original it sounds like that. Because I'm not normal, I uh, always play in drop D. My chords sound a bit different, but I think it kind of worked for it, you know? That's only different to the original. And of course we don't have keys or a basis, but we may do. <laughs> Weirdly this song has a really nice rhythm bit though, it's only short. It's just before the chorus, ready? I just really like that. It hammers it in. Again, uh, Rachel there is uh, holding up the entire stage presence of the band, which everyone else has just sort of stood about, including me. I love this bit. That singer over there, he hated it, so I'm staring right at him. He said it was too cheesy. This whole song is cheesy, man. Lighting though, 
this like orange with green bits floating around. It's so ugly. <laughs> then again, I don't know how the light machine works, so I can't really complain. You know, this one sounds pretty faithful to the original. And I think we do a good mix of doing things a bit differently, like the last song, um, to doing things a bit more as they are normally. <laughs> She's trying to make me get involved as well. I do though, I stop his symbol already. So uh, she was she was going out with the drummer at the time. They were both part of Enter the Dream, both going out. But they had a little in joke. So they just watch us talk to each other. Here. So they had a little bit of an in joke. Here. He said, "You're not being efficient here." Now, what's the key word here? She said, "Efficient." He said, "No, efficiency." So we look at each other. When they say the words on your lips, we say efficiency. You've always got a bit of fun with it, haven't you? Yeah, so far nothing is really too different from how it would have been without a bassist. And I think whoever's on the mixing desk is mainly to thank for that because my guitar sounds really nice. You know, it's a bit bassy than I would normally have it, but that's what we needed. So whoever did that, thank you. And those harmonies again, I can't get over it, they're just really good. <laughs> and I like how we're all just like, we're just kind of okay, and then he's just in a hoodie at the back. <laughs> we get heckled so much from our class. Um, we'll do a holiday theme, yes. The uh, typical college band song, I think everyone's done this one. Probably should have done this one earlier, it's that basic. But uh, the drumming is a bit of a Green Day fan. I'm okay with Green Day, it's not the song I would have chosen, but I did choose one back in the very first game we did, a Green Day song, I chose What's Her Name, uh, and I messed it up pretty bad, so I think I lost the right to choose when it came to that. But we didn't really get to choose many songs um, as an individual of the band, we had to kind of uh, choose one that worked for everyone, so it wouldn't have been right to choose metal for uh, these singers, or even this drummer. In the same way that it would have been right to choose, I don't know, a funk song just for the other guitar. Especially when we haven't got a bassist there. I can't get over how much she sounds like uh, Billy Joe Armstrong there. <laughs> I think the, I'm using a different channel on my pedal board and it sounds kind of thin now that it's on the distortion channel. I don't know if maybe they did uh, how they set up the EQ, but um, it doesn't sound as good on this channel. And I think they fix it by the next song. But it's not good. Harmonies again. I, I, I don't even know what more I can say, just harmonies. The line's a bit different now as well. I like this bit. This is uh, probably my favourite bit of the song. Uh, especially because I had to steal, uh, steal it from the bass in the next section. It's just a nice easy riff, isn't it? But I could do a solo. Not that it's a difficult solo anyway, but it wouldn't have sounded right without any uh, guitar or bass behind it. So I just had to think, right, what are the chords? And I was thinking for like a good half hour before we went on, right? So that's what I need to play, not the solo. This bit as well, which is great. Which I know I just done that bit, but um, I was meant to not really be playing much on it. I think originally I was going to try and get the crowd involved, but we had a clapping. But hey ho, we made do with what we had. We also had to centre a word. All the fools. You know it works. It just. Uh, then obviously it can be offensive to some people. It wasn't really appropriate for the same. Also, it makes it YouTube friendly, so I'm not complaining. And 
worst word you'll hear me say out here is crap. But yeah, this one, this one's pretty tight, you know, all, apart from the uh, EQ issues with my guitar, but that's not really my fault, all the mixing I thought is uh, the basis for quitting and then being ill. And we did a pretty good job of it. So the last Greenie song we did, um, it's that bit in What's Her Name, it's only got five notes. Um, I think it's just after the chorus, and I completely messed it up both times I had to do it. So uh, I think my confidence has come a long way since then. Um, we just go straight into it. For an Nirvana song. Uh, this is the second Nirvana song we've done as well. We did a Nirvana song at the end of the last, um, last year. First year, this is the last year. Um, and that time we did in no, this is a blue. Last time we did Liffy. Which again we had no basis, so I had to fill in for that bass part, which was kind of fun. But this one, the riff and the bass part are exactly the same anyway. For the verse. So that worked for me. And it's a nice one, it's quite catchy. And these guys wait till they hear the chorus. Harmonies again. So nice. One thing I would have done differently, obviously, again, we only had about an hour before we realised that we had a completely different setup, um, is I would have changed which singer was going where, you know, who was leading the song. Because at the moment they stayed in place, but let's say uh, she was doing lead vocals, she stays in the middle. But if he was doing the lead, they should have swapped. You know, if, you, if you understand, it would have been a bit, a bit better for stage presence, because we don't have very much of it. As seen here, I was meant to be doing a bit more, as I say, with the clapping and hyping up during the bass parts, but not really much you can do with that, is there? I may do, I, I took the bass players' parts pretty well. And I still did some bits, like stopping the cymbal, um, and mainly winding up the other stage mates. I played stuff that's too cheesy for them. What I could have done though, oh, just thought. In that first song, I used the bass effect, didn't I? Could have used that for this section now. Or the, the other section in the last song. Oh well. It's good to have hindsight, isn't it? But yeah, this venue, this venue's really good. And uh, we got to play there twice, um, end of each year. And I've seen a few of my friends play there in their bands. And it's really nice. It's not too big, it's got an upstairs bit, downstairs bit. I think you're doing a review, not a review, a tier list. Uh, the like, venues in Manchester. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. I know it's obviously, again, very specific to my local area, but I haven't really been to many venues outside of that, so, you yeah, know, let me know what you think. So again, for the solo, I've just got to play the, the verse section of the, uh, the bass would normally play, because otherwise it'd sound awful. It would have sounded awful anyway, because it's a Kurt Cobain solo. <laughs> but, you know. Could have done with some more drums, maybe saying it's more interesting. Or I, oh, or I could have used the loop. Could have put it on the loop, and then the second time through, played a bit of a solo, and then just got back to it. Oh well. Again, hindsight. Wonderful thing. It sounds pretty good for just one guitar, one drum kit, and two vocals. It's not bad, right? It's definitely better than the last two. And we had more musicians in the last two, so I class it as a win. There really weren't many bassists on our course, though. I wish I'd learned bass a little bit earlier, otherwise I would have done that. I liked how we uh, transitioned between those last two songs, you know, made it a bit different rather than just announcing each one, we just went straight into it. Okay, this is the fun one. Yeah, our final song is Plug and Baby. So this is good because I was doing this song for this band, where I play guitar, 
and actually got Zeus to lead guitar. Hooray. I was also doing Friends of the Dream at the time. We were going to do this as one of our covers, and I was playing the bass for that, which meant, which was useful because it's a completely different bass part to the guitar part. Um, so I played that over the verse. But as you see in a second, I do um, miss my cue, and I have to come in on the next chord rather than the first chord. Oh, no. <laughs> it works okay, it's barely noticeable, but I notice it. Imagine if I didn't play anything, imagine if I didn't know that part and we were just sat there in silence with drums and vocals. <laughs> that would have been so bad. We were just lucky with that one, to be honest. I don't think I... I mean, it's not difficult, but I don't think in half an hour, when I've got many other songs to play, I would have been confident enough learning something new. Because it was like half an hour, maybe an hour at most before, when we realised we had no basis. It's a bit more bassy, but it's a bit quiet now, the guitar, which is strange. Maybe it was making too much noise with the first uh, part, so they turned it down. The guitar was so good. He was a really big uh, Muse fan, so that made him happy. I hate Matt Bellamy's of course, but I was happy because I got something to play on guitar finally. I know the drummer is quite a big fan as well. I like her style of vocals more than, more than his. Although he's a big fan, it's not really his style. He's very Ed Sheeran, as you can see from the look of him. And that's fine, everyone has their own style. But I prefer covers that are a bit more unique, like more in someone's own personal style, rather than an exact copy of the original. I think we did pretty well with this one. Especially with my improv bass line on guitar. Those harmonies are so good. I do mess up in a second though. As I said earlier, uh, I didn't have many lead parts to do, so I kind of got carried away with this one and did the lead part I was meant to be doing, rather than the bass part which would have been preferable to me. So they haven't really got anything to sing over, but they to hold the song down. They do a good job of it. That sounds okay. But it's towards the end where it's like, what chord am I meant to be singing over? So well done Liam for messing everyone up. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, We did well with what we had. I'm still not taking any of that away from us. And there we are, the lights still go in there. But yeah, that is the gig. Um, and it was okay. It was a lot better than the previous two that I've showed you on the channel. Uh, better than that first one with the sound mishaps. And the second one, I just think we had better chemistry within the band and better musicians overall. That said, it wasn't all perfect. There was all sorts of stuff going on this final year of uh, college. So it wasn't perfect, you know, some people didn't show up for practice all the time um, and obviously the bass players not showing up and quitting and being ill, yeah, it's just it was a bit chaotic, but we made do with what we had and it sounded okay not to mention the venue was a lot better and I think I was a lot more confident as well although I'm not wearing a wig or a tie on my head I feel like I still held my own on the stage, especially compared to some of the earlier ones which I'm glad I don't have a copy of but if I did I would still show you them because I really enjoy doing this series um, so if I can get my hands on any more of the older um, college gigs, then I will do those. But if not, it looks like next week's is going to be the last one, and that is the gig that was on just before this one. So let me know what you think of the series, guys. I've enjoyed doing this. If you enjoy seeing it, let me know. I will do my best to get some more content like this for the future. Again, you can check out all those links below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.